Oh, black and white. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Okay then. I have to go get her pay. I've seen the um. Oop. I go back. I can't. They're locked. Okay. Yeah, same, same. Yep, it's the theater. Oh. Whoa. Hmm. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Such a tough crowd. It's you. Me and who might that be? Pretty ill manner, aren't you, my girl? What? And rather slow as well. No, that's not. I just know you're a clazomaniac. Sheesh, how I hate these noisy munters. Moving on. That show is a truly unprecedented sight. And certainly not for the faint of heart. Now, without further ado, here is a tale I like to call Serendipity. You mustn't dwell in guilt, milady. I don't want to shatter her pay. Do not fret, I shall see to it in your stead. My protection is my pledge to you. upon a time, graced with strength and loyalty, was a single girl in shining armor. Yielding endurance and secrecy as her weapons, she left on a solitary journey. Indulging in demanding responsibilities in order to become the finest example of righteousness. Fastitious path to provide closure for her beloved. In order to protect what would never be hers, in order to preserve her privileged position. A maiden's love knew no boundaries, nor did it rely on selfish reasoning. A cruel yet necessary sacrifice. 
Such a tedious and bland story, isn't it? Playing pretend had become the latest trend, it seems. Matt and her prideful attitude, our knight in shining armor put up to the biggest shows. And quite a show it was. Too bad her audience didn't enjoy her little fantasy as much as she did. You are not my daughter, she scorned. You are not my sister, he laughed. You are not my daughter, he mocked. Indeed, she wasn't. The trial is always best served with a little disdain, I'd say. Reunited with her tears, our heroine wept and wept. Despite all of my efforts. A sacrifice. I don't want to shatter her pay. Promises are to be well kept, not forgotten. The same applies to one's reality, does it not? Ugh. The end. Our pay. I've got to find her. Where does this lead? Is this the same room as the death sequence? It's not. What is this place? Interactable. Hmm. Ah. Repay? Leave. Don't come any closer. Or pay, or pathetic, aren't I? No, that's not. What is it you want from me? What do you mean? I've given you everything I could, everything I have. Everything I am, I am for you. Or pay. Stay away, my girl. This isn't a scene you'd like to witness. No, Harpe. Harpe. Oh. This is fine, miss. I was never needed. Yes, you were. No. My existence is a mere misunderstanding. I couldn't gain your trust, or even protect you. Harpe, no. All I've done has amounted to nothing. I was never able to guide you. That's not true. In the end... In the end, I was never... 
I was never able to protect you. No. Not from myself. Not even from... Lisette. I can't... What have I done? I can't protect you from Lisette. What are you talking about? Lisette... Lisette is going to take you away from me. Arpe, please. What have I done? You can't meet Lisette. Not Lisette. Art, please. Don't go. Don't go near Lisette. Please don't. Don't get near her. Wait, Arpe. Let me help you. Lisette. Lisette is... You are... Arpe. Everything I was... I was... For you. Hmm. Hey then. Arpe. No. Not you too. Hmm. I'm sorry, Arpe. Oh? It's Bleef 2. Ever since that fateful day, my soul has become restless with regret. I have been driven by greed in all that I have done, blaming my own foolishness on the incident. I have exchanged my humanity for a chance at happiness for both myself and my family. But for you, my dear daughter, I have nothing left but shame. Nightmare. Okay, where do we go now? Oh. So cold. I don't want to be on my own. Oh. There's no need to be alone. I don't know who I am, or even my name. Perhaps she has the answer. Perhaps even you have the answer. I'm scared. I don't want to go on. I'm scared of the answer. The truth is lurking near, perhaps even nearer than you'd like to admit. Why me? We are all... None of this has to do with me. None of this is our fault. And yet, here you are. It is too late to go back now. There are choices to be made. What can I do for them? What could they want from me? I wonder, what could you ever want from them? Where am I? Hmm. Oh. Adams.
Oh. What are these? Midnight Circus. Circus? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. That it's that doll again. It's hanging from nowhere. Oh, not yet. Serene, gentle ripples come to rest on the edges of the shattered tiles. Just where am I? It's hanging from nowhere. Oh, the rope. Oh. Yikes. Good thing I moved. What just happened? How does it feel to be this beloved? Hmm. What's going on? I have to meet Lisette. I must be brave. Circus. Hmm. Get closer up. I see anything with that. Oh! I don't like this place. Mm hmm. Did just. Mr. Pumpkin? Mm hmm. Maybe I could carve its face out. Scissors back here. Ah, change. Just these scissors. Might be able to do it with this. Act. An old pair of worn down scissors tinted by corrosive rust. Let's see. Now that feels a hundred times better. Mr. Pumpkin, what are you doing in a place like this? I'm just waiting for the show to start. It sure took you a long time to get here, didn't it? What do you mean? I don't know, what do you want me to mean? Anyway, do me a favor, will you? Visit. There's something I want to show you. Won't you take us both there? I can't walk, you see. Mr. Pumpkin, I don't know if I... Great, so let's get going. Ooh, sure, why not? Take the pumpkin. Oh. It's a lantern, huh? She really is eager to meet you, huh? How does it feel to be this famous? 
Ah, uh, you're so bland. What are you talking about? Right, just hurry it up. so dark in here. Leave it to me. Ah. Impressive, isn't it? Thank you, Mr. Pumpkin. No problem. You won't be thanking me later, believe me. What do you mean? Come now, you can stop faking it. What? What? You said I... What are you doing just standing there? We don't have all day. That scared you, then just wait until you meet her. What do you mean? I mean what I meant, and there's nothing else I could mean other than what I meant. Hmm. <laughs> You're not the most interesting of people, let me tell you that. Keep saying that. Be absolutely terrible. Mr. Buckman, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm so lost and alone, please don't tease me anymore. That's not... what you meant to say? <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to stop for a while and drink some tea. Maybe play some hide-and-seek. Please stop. Why, can't you handle a bit of heat? I... This is why you're boring, miss. Anyway, we're almost there, come on. I would carry you myself, but I don't have any limbs, as you may have noticed. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Sweet, sweet music to my ears. Pumpkin charm. Way. Getting a little too far. Let's go back. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the one. 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 Who? Come now, you know perfectly well who she is, don't you? I... Oh. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Where are we? <laughs> you wouldn't know even if I told you. You never know anything, do you? That's not... Isn't it time for you to remember? Remember what? Ooh. This reality doesn't belong to you anymore, miss. You're far from being the only one looking for answers. Ooh. Who are you? Your time has come, foolish girl. May you greet her in my place. Oh. Under Blit. <laughs>